for us was a game changer. We've actually got a swivel base as well. Hi guys, welcome back to Dove Ventures. If you're new to this channel, my name's Tom and this is our camper van. And in today's video, we're going to give you a full tour of our camper van and show you all the work that we've had done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you a tour of the outside of the van. Right guys, that's the outside of the van, let's get inside. Right, so what we'll do first of all, I'm gonna show you everything that's in the front of the van. Now, first of all, we have actually got these upgraded seats. Now, these are full leather and we get asked all the time about these seats. They're actually not seat covers, they're actually seats, so, like I said, that's for all the people that have been asking us many, many times. Now, this seat, it actually, if you if you do own a Volkswagen van and a lot of other vans, you'll know that the passenger seats, if you've got a double seat, they're quite upright. Now, what we've got on here is we've actually got a folding seat bracket. Now, if I just quickly show you, it's got like a locking nut here, and then it's got this handle here. What you do is you loosen this off, then you press that down this is a safety uh, feature to keep this knot from moving and then what you do is you push this down and then what that does is it frees it off and it allows the full seat to actually fold down and that allows you more access into the back of the van but what I'll do when we get in the back of the van I'll actually show you this down so it makes more sense Right, so here we are in the back of the van and the first thing you can see is we've got a full size rock and roll bed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you that's what it looks like in the van with the seat up and then like I said once that lever's been pushed down you can push that down and then that gives you so much more room. I mean the room that that creates is unbelievable. Now the other thing about that folding seat bracket is we've actually got a swivel base as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn the seats round to show you. And as you can see guys, got the seat turned round there. Let's go and check it out. Guys, Having this seat being able to turn round, it just gives so much more room in the van. Like really, really glad that we've got this. And the thing is as well, because we've got the folding seat bracket, even when it's in this position, you can still have the seat in the folded position. So as you can see, you can just remove the TV off here so you don't have to leave it in the van. And it's just like clipped on with them. All the items that I'm going to show in the van today, there will be links in the description. So if you are after one of those um, headrest uh, brackets, you can actually get them and you get a 5% discount from us using our code Dub Ventures. But all the links will be in the description for everything. Now we actually have a dog, Thor, our little fur baby. Put a picture here for you. And that is his bed, so that's why we've got that there. It's just a bed for Thor. Right, now the next thing, this is our pod. We've just got a towel on top of it. It's just to keep all the, you know, the dust and everything like off of here. Now this pod, um, is we don't have a typical layer in the van, as you can see. 
Now, over the past three years, we've been like doing the van so it's like practical for us and like how we want to use it. Not the traditional layout that like a lot of people don't like use. We all know the people that have got like the units and they don't use the kitchen and things because they don't want it to smell and things. And you know, that's just crazy. We actually use the van and everything in the van. So we got this pod and basically, if I just come down here, it's got like two sort of like um, storage parts. And then we lift that up and then we'll show you inside. Now obviously we've not got anything in at the moment because we're not going camping or anything. But as you can see, there's plenty of storage up there. Now that's, that's actually um, a portable camping cooker so that gives you a bit of an idea how much room there is. And then it's the same on this side as well. Again, we just unzip that. And then as you can see, in there we've just got like storage things. That's actually an electric heater that we use when we go to a campsite we use an electric hookup. And then we've just got some bits and bats in there, like cleaning things, a couple of fans and so on. But yeah, this pod for us was a game changer. It does exactly everything that we need it to do. And then we've got the surface on here, you know, we do the cooking on and so on. The cooker could fit on there perfect, so that's what that is. Right, so moving on to the next thing. Now in a recent video, uh, if you've seen it, we actually fitted our folding um, table. And this, again, I mean, what a game changer. Um, I mean, we've not had everything done in one go because as you, as you know, it costs a lot of money getting everything done in your van in one go. So, you know, we've took our time over the years to make sure that we get like everything, you know, that like makes it like ideal for what we want. And like I said, we've got this folding seat table. So I'll just quickly show you this. And as you can see guys, it just attaches to the rail that goes onto there. And while we're here, we've just got some simple storage nets, you know, that we can put different things in. Got one there, one there, and then we've got one over here as well. Right guys, moving on to the next thing. The big, one of the main things that we've had done in the van. And that's the electrics. Now there's not really a lot that I can show you about the electrics, because obviously it's all hidden with the split charge relay and everything. But as you can see, we've got like two USB um, sockets there, we've got a 12 volt socket there, we've got a voltmeter there and we have electric, you know, a leisure battery in the van um, it's under the seat, the actual leisure battery and so on but I can't show you that because obviously everything's in the way now, whilst we're here, we have got an air dispatcher diesel heater fitted again, what a game changer now, we just recently had that fitted and we've not had really a chance to like go do any well camping or anything but we're really, really looking forward to that um, getting that done now, there's our vent for our diesel heater now, there's quite a few reasons that I've had that put there um, because people like, have it in different places like at the front and everything whilst it's there, because we've got like the full size rock and roll bed we can have the air sort of like coming up because there's a gap there and everything but also if we ever did decide to change the layer out of the van we could actually use that and we could put like a cupboard there and everything so there is like a reason why we've actually got that there but yeah so we've had the diesel heater done and we've got the uh, full electrics done with the split charge relay right guys we're gonna move on to the rock and roll bed but before i do that i just want to quickly show you just under here We've actually got a cool box. Now, I've actually built a box for this to fit in. And then what we've got, we've got the cable that comes out and then it fits perfectly up into there, into the electrics. Now, we like don't really need a fridge. We've done like many trips. We've been to Scotland. We've done like, we've spent like two weeks in the van and everything. We do leave it plugged into the electrics in the van. But every day we are sort of like starting the van because we're moving about and exploring and everything. I wouldn't leave that plugged in all the time if we weren't moving because I think it would like, you know, it would deplete the um, the battery quite quickly. Um, but that for us works perfectly. Um, so yeah, we've got the cool box there and it works for us. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you underneath the rock and roll bed to show you what storage we have. So guys, the rock and roll bed it's got this leather cover here, so what I'll try and do, try and do this with one hand. And what I'll do is I'll just lift this up. What that will do, that will show you underneath the rock and roll bed. Now we've actually got a storage container here, and these are like things that we've got in the back. So I could just show you. That pulls out. 
and then as you can see I mean at the moment obviously there's bags under there that's like because like I said we're not going anywhere but we do like put bags in and then here we've got like our uh, foldable table these are our foldable chairs but there's plenty of room under the rock and roll bed so for storage you know when we go places what we do is we put like you know pots and pans in there and you can fit a couple of boxes under there you know you can fit bags and everything so there's plenty of storage right let's get this rock and roll bed in the bed position there we go guys that's the bed in the rock and roll bed position and what we've got there that's actually a memory foam topper absolutely fantastic these seats are really really comfy on their own but if you've got a memory foam topper they're even comfier so and there we have it Guys, what I'll do is I'll put a picture up here and show you what the bed actually looks like when it's like all made up and everything because, come on, I'm not very good at making a bed, so. And guys, there is so much room in here and let's look at that. Nice and cosy. Just want to point out, we've got a carbon monoxide alarm. So we've got a smoke detector there. We also have these curtains that pull along so that at night time, as you can see we've got curtains there they can pull along make it private we've got some blinds that go on the windows at the front but we've also got these blinds on both sides that come along so guys there we have it that's a tour of our Volkswagen camper van now if you want to see more and see the trips and see all the different things that we get up to check out our channel if you are new to the channel and please consider hitting that subscribe button we have got a lot of videos coming up you know and we're really excited to have you guys along for the ride with us so like I said, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody, if you please press that like button, it really helps our channel up and we, out and we really, really want to grow, you know, and like really, really bring you guys, you know, like really exciting content. And we're really passionate about everything we do with the channel. So thank you for watching. So until the next video, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to put everything back in position and everything. Bye for now.